you know, as if I wasn't already trying to work on something as it is. And I'm prompted to talk about what's on my heart and what's on my mind. Self-righteousness. Seeing in the carnal flesh. Living in your carnal flesh. Not seeing by way of the spirit. Seeing through your perception. Ignoring the fruits of the spirit. Because you want to hold on. To what you. Believe. Is truth. And usually, because I want to use my situation, bro. I am looked at as a nobody. I am looked at as the scum of the earth. My whole family looks down upon me. I'm the least one in the family expected to make anything of their life. They all point fingers at me. They all look their nose down at me. But yet I'm the one that had humbled myself, went within, sought my maker, allowed the Holy Spirit to renew my mind, humble myself to unlearn what I thought I knew as truth. And I have been retaught by way of the Holy Spirit. So when I'm dealing with my family. I walk in love. I've been walking in love. They have no real. Ought against me. There's nothing that they can actually use. Against me. And be verified in it. Be justified in it. No. They're justified in their own eyes. Because of how they view me. They're not viewing me by way of the spirit. No. They're viewing me with their fleshly eyes. You're in poverty. You're not successful. You don't even have a car. You're not married. You don't have a career. You have made nothing of yourself. So how can you have any truth? I am the black sheep of my family. So I, I'm dealing with that. I've been cut off yet again by my mother. Because she refuses to accept truth, bruh. Like, it's not my fault that you don't want to accept the truth. I still love you. It's not me that cut off the relationship. It's my mother. Because I won't get in their box with them. I won't validate. I won't validate what they want to hold as a freaking belief. What they want to hold as truth. Okay? I am not going to agree with them that what I said is merely my belief. Okay? What I said about those that call themselves, you know what it is. Those that call themselves are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay? 
That's what your scriptures say. You say that you you read this book, the, the Bible. You claim that you believe the Bible. But no, you're ready. And then you claim that I'm selective, which I am. Because I flow by way of the spirit and I am aware that there is both falsehoods and truth within that book. Okay? Now, they claim that they read that book and they wholeheartedly stand on, a, on their foundation of believing the whole book. The whole book is given for inspiration by, by God. That's what they say. Okay? They believe that that is God's word. But yet, they will throw out Revelations 2.9 and Revelations 3.9. No, they want to blindly believe that those in that created state of Israel is truly God's chosen people. You know why they want to believe that? Because they didn't probably sent buku money over there. And they don't want to come face to face with the fact that they have been deceived. Into sowing unto the synagogue of Satan. And so when I, in innocence, say that they are the synagogue of Satan, oh, I'm automatically demonized. They want to demonize me. They want to attack me. Instead of, you know, understanding that, look, this is what the scriptures say. Them that say they are and are not do lie. Okay? I'm not the liar. I'm not your enemy. I love you. I've been walking in love. I've been literally showing love to you. You don't have a true case against me. No. You have thrown me under the bus and you use me as a scapegoat to hide your pain that you don't want to face that you have been deceived. And yet I still love you. But now from a distance because you've cut me off. I have to deal with that. And then I've been dealing with the brew community. You know, I used to be semi, you know, somewhat loved. Before, I think it was like around March. It was like, yeah, March of 2022. When all hell broke loose. Because people refused to see with their spiritual eyes who I am. No, once it came out that I was born in a female body, oh, everybody, hardly anybody was in my corner. I was attacked by the entire brood community and then cast it off. And then they made accusations against me that I literally deceived them. That I deceived them. How the hell I deceive you? Who you got to know is who I am. But no, no, you, you, you want to cast that off. You want to be like, no, that's not who you are. You are your body. You're your physical body, even though the scripture tell you the exact opposite of that. The scripture tells you not to judge based upon the outward appearance of somebody. But that's exactly what you've been doing. And you have shunned me. I have literally been shunned from the brew community. See, for a while, when my family was shunning me, I had the brew community that I could lean upon. I had the support of the brew community, you know, that I could lean upon. You know, we were all going through the same thing with our family shunning us. But then, no, I have to get it from both. I got to get it from my family and from the brew community who I thought was my spiritual family. I have literally been cut off on all sides, bro. Simply for walking in this truth by way of the spirit and standing strong on it because none of you have a real case against me.
How I deceive you. Who you got to know on social media is who I am. I didn't put on no pretense. So how is that a deception, bruh? You just want to be mad that my package don't line up with who you got to know. My packaging, that's what you got a problem with. But all throughout them scriptures, you can see that the Father told you, don't focus upon that. You shall know them by their fruit. Why are you not looking at my fruit? Why are you not judging me based upon my fruit? Why do you people keep, you choose to judge on surface level? <sighs> anyway, I had to get that off my chest, bro. Because I can't keep that bottle up inside me, you know. I love you. I have no animosity in my heart against you. I would accept any of you that came and apologized for how you have treated me. And the same goes with my family. I am a lover. I, I am a natural born lover, okay? But yet I have received so much hate throughout my entire freaking life. It has literally made no sense to me whatsoever. But I'm tired, bro. I am so super tired. I was loving that me and my mom was able to repair our relationship and that she was listening to me and you know she seemed eager to talk to me and then all of a sudden all of that went up in smoke all because of them people over there in that created state of Israel which I'm sure they've sent hundreds of dollars in support of them you know, that came by way of the spirit to me, too, because I don't know for a fact, you know, um, but it makes sense because it's an evangelical Christian church, you know, that they attend and um, the evangelicals support the created state of Israel and them people over there claiming to be, you know, um, my mama was accepting the fact that we are Israel. But she was looking at it from a Gentile perspective. We are not Gentiles. We're the true Shemites, okay? That's what people need to understand. You know, you have been deceived. I'm sorry that you've been deceived. I'm not the one that deceives you. I'm the one telling you the damn truth that you want to reject. This world have you loving your oppressor and those that hate you and despising the ones that love you. We live in an asinine ass world, bro. Like, this is absolutely insane. And, and, and you know, what, what the hell can I do about it other than petition to the Father, pray, and continue to walk in love? That's all I can do. But yet, I'm, I, I, I am alone, bro. I, I'm freaking alone. I'm shunning, you know, my Facebook is like crickets. People freaking hate me for telling the truth, bro. Like, but I am a lover of truth, and I ain't going to stop telling the truth I'm not gonna stop living the truth okay I'm not gonna allow you to put me in boxes okay time's up 
for 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 these illusions and these deceptions to just run rampant upon the earth and and, and you know bro it's like you you want to shun yourself away from the truth but yet at the same time you want to claim that you walk in truth how how do you walk in truth when you screeching away from it you know it's like a demon being shown in the light you 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 freaking try to run as far away from the light as possible. I'm tired, bro. I'm freaking tired. So long.